hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you when you encounter problems that when your computer can't even boot into Windows to perform any fix here is a guide on how to start up repair Windows 10 or Windows 11 using command prompt from safe mode or via Windows recovery Now, how to enter Windows Safe Mode? There are many ways to enter Safe Mode. Some say press F4, F8, some say press F9, F11, F12, add boot, etc. etc. It's trial and error. For some, it will work, others, it will not work. It's very frustrating. Keep on restarting Windows to find a button that suits your PC. In my video, I will show you the steps which will work on every PC without wasting time. First, we are going to make a bootable Windows USB from Microsoft Utility. From there, we will go to Windows Safe Mode easily. So guys, this is a legit ISO. So you don't need to worry about. You just need to download the utility from the Microsoft and from there, it will download the ISO from Microsoft into your USB. I will show you the web address or URL from where you can download the utility and download the ISO into your USB. Okay guys, as you can see on the screen, this is a Microsoft legit homepage. I will share the link in the description so you can easily uh, go to the web page. So from here, this is for Windows 10. So you can go here, download now, click this button and it will start downloading the utility. Okay, save. Then you need to run it. Yes. We accept the notice and license terms. From here, we will select create installation media USB flash drive because we are troubleshooting and uh, we want to restore our current Windows 10 or 11. We are not upgrading the PC. Select the second option, select next, leave the uh, settings default, next. Okay, in this screen, there are two options. We are not using the ISO file because in a PC, you are not able to boot from ISO file. You can do so with the virtual machine, but not with the actual uh, PC. So you need to make a USB flash drive. Click next. So uh, this utility has already detected the USB drive uh, in case of mine is SRV 2012 R2 okay so we click next now it will start the downloading process of uh, ISO from the Windows uh, legit server and it will burn into the USB from where you will boot the Windows and we will go in the safe mode Okay guys, as you can see, our Windows USB flash drive is ready. So, as you can see, we have uh, the set of files ready to boot into the safe mode. Uh, one thing to note uh, that guys, uh, before booting your PC, you need to go to your BIOS settings and from there you need to put flash drive uh, as the first boot device then you will boot into windows setup for windows 11 it is the same process same steps to make a usb flash drive you need to download the setup from here and the rest of the process is the same as windows 10 Okay guys, now you have followed the steps as I have shown you. 
you should see the screen like this when you boot from the USB flash drive ok click next from here we will not go install windows we go repair your computer so this will give you choose an option we will go here troubleshoot from here we have diff different options system restore windows 10 ok this will open the system restore if you seen my last video regarding how to make a restore point in windows 10 and windows 11 you have to see it so that you are able to make system restore we click next and this is the system restore which I made in my last video so what it does if you have a system restore point and your windows crashed or it's not booting so if you restore your windows from here click next then what will happen it might revert it back towards the windows at the time when it's working properly when you take this snapshot we will not click uh, next we will go to command prompt the first repair command will execute first is system file check which is SFC SFC is able to automatically scan for corrupted and missing file systems this process may take some time depending on the size of the windows system files and your hard drive performance the process may take some time depending on the size of the windows system files and your hard drive performance when the scan is completed you can choose to restart your pc to verify if the problem still persists or continue executing other commands okay this has been done uh, windows resource protection did not find any integrity violations you can restart your windows to see that uh, if the issue get resolved or you can come back to this point open the command prompt and write the other command so now we will run the command which is check disk to check for hard drive errors Since you are not currently using your disk, chat disk should not ask you to restart your PC. If it tells you that the volume is in used and that it will schedule the check disk scan on your next restart, press yes or Y key to proceed. Similar to system file check, the scan may take some time. Try not to interrupt the scan. When the scan is completed, restart your PC and verify if your problem is solved. Otherwise, continue to the next repair command if the problem still exists. As you can see here, 0 KB in bad sectors. It means that there are no bad sectors. Used, OK. So the disk, uh, in my case, uh, my VM, it's uh, it's good condition or you can say it's in running condition there are no bad sectors so now uh, if you restart and uh, if you're still not able to boot into windows then proceed with the next command the next command is boot track is an incredibly useful tool to repair boot problems in windows 10 11 when startup repair or any kind of troubleshoot can repair your windows boot problem you should try using boot track repair tool i will clear the screen for clearing the screen type cls then we will type the boot track command this command will fix any corruption issues with the master boot record press enter then we will type the same command 
but with different option this command will attempt to write a new boot sector on the hard disk if windows detects damage press enter as you can see it's giving access is denied so to enable or to complete this command successfully we need to write another command now we will write boot track fix boot again no, sorry uh, the operation complete successfully so as you can see guys uh, first we write boot track fix boot access is denied so we need to write another command so that it will tell the system to let it fix the boot sector so as you can see uh, this one is uh, written uh, i forgot to put the t and uh, the command completed successfully now you will write the command boot track fix boot the command will complete successfully okay guys uh, this is it uh, hopefully uh, by doing this uh, you will uh, able to boot into your windows and when you boot into your windows you can uh, follow these steps from my video windows 10 blue screen issue solution well guys uh, thank you for watching my video and please do write comments if you have any difficulty running any commands or this video is helpful to you and if you want uh, if you are having like any other uh, windows error uh, do let me know so i will make the video as soon as possible take care and bye bye